afternoon in Stanton. It's a difficult day for many people in Fenville after a star athlete's sudden death in front of hundreds of students, teachers, and fans. It happened during last night's basketball game at Fenville High School. WCZM 13's Angela Cunningham spent the morning in Fenville and joins us from the Information Center now with more on this heartbreaking story, Angela. That's right, Lauren. Hearts are very heavy in this close-knit community following the sudden and very public death of a teen being described as a quintessential all-American kid. As teachers and students arrived at school this morning, they seemed still in shock over the tragedy. Last night, inside a packed gymnasium, 16-year-old Wes Leonard collapsed on the basketball court moments after hitting a winning shot in overtime that secured the team's undefeated season. Paramedics perform CPR as they rushed Leonard to Holland Hospital, where he later died just after 10.30 last night. Parents and school officials say Leonard was a great kid and one that others looked up to and wanted to be like. He was amazing. I mean, athletic-wise, academically, um, all-around good kid. Oh, gosh, yes. What, what kid wouldn't? We realize there are really no answers that we can give when a uh, tragedy like this happens. And um, we just uh, try to offer our love and support uh, for those uh, students as they go through it. Now the district has put grief counselors in place to help students who are struggling with Leonard's death. Neighboring districts have even sent counselors and social workers to assist. Not only was Leonard well loved throughout the Finville School District, but his mother is a teacher at the middle school. The superintendent says that is making this even more heartbreaking for their school community. So far there is no word on what caused West Leonard's death. School officials did not share any medical news, but did say Leonard was under the weather last week but was back in school all this week. Wes Leonard was not only a star on the school's basketball team but the quarterback of their championship football team. His death is indeed a tragic loss. Reporting live in the Information Center, Angela Cunningham, WZZM 13 News.